I mean, it's all about some people wanting to do bad things, right? Some people or organizations or whatever. Um, is, it becoming, is it becoming technologically so sophisticated that large countries and large companies have an increasing advantage, or is it the reverse? So I think one of the areas that's not being focused on enough is the increasing capabilities of organized crime, organized transnational crime. There's always going to be a difference between a state-sponsored government agency uh, dedicated to a cyber mission and even the best individual hackers. I go to DEF CON every year, the Hacker Convention in Las Vegas, and there's enormous talent and there's enormous uh, energy there. But it's one thing to have individual talent, it's another thing to have it kind of focused on a problem. And that's one of the problems, though, with the transnational organized crime. We sort of can understand what the nation threat that state is. But here last year at Fortune, uh, there was a very informative session for me. It was talking about future trends in cyber, in, in information technology. And the four trends basically that were laid out were mobile, uh, cloud, bandwidth, and transmedia apps. Okay, so the, for the purpose of this discussion, the intersection of cloud and mobile is, is, is the point. And so let's assume that we're getting better at securing within the cloud. And I've got my data protected in some dispersed storage with three-factor authentication to get it back. And, and let's then say the crown jewels of the company are sales and marketing. So an authorized user, VP for sales and marketing, says, you know, I'm going on the road. I've got to have this stuff. And he emails it to his iPhone, his mobile device. So now it's been the three-factor authentication is replaced by a four-digit PIN at best people are just not going to put up with too much security before they will find a workaround. So the point here was people are going to use mobile devices more and more and more. If you want to have this protected, the security needs to be written into the data itself, irrespective of where it is. So the security shouldn't come from the fact it's in the cloud, the fact that this data element, this data element are assigned some sort of security level, so you apply a little RSA token to your, thumb, to your mobile device or something. But, but there has to be a way to recognize that the people are typically the weakest part and design a system that's human-friendly rather than just techie-friendly.